Now, I know what you guys are thinking, seeing as I live in Manhattan, what do I think about Wall Street? Well, quite honestly, with my deteriorating health and the fact that I feel like I'm going to die in a few weeks, well, I really don't give a shit about Wall Street at the moment. Until I am done with this long, never-ending sickness that I got somewhere in early fall, I'm going to be pretty pissed if I had to deal with more news I could actually talk about if I gave a damn. Regardless, um... Now what I'm going to talk about are two separate things, and then I'm going to head into the main topic. First, let's talk about Pennsylvania. Now, in early United States, a lot of people were in prisons because they refused to pay taxes. So, in f because there's too much of these guys in the prisons, um, they were... S one of these guys had the idea to make them go to Pennsylvania, develop their own society, and that would be consolidated into a state. Now, move forward in time with the whole manifest destiny ordeal. During the 1860s, where the United States was near the end of its weakness period, it would, um... Were all these, um states in the west and these states in the west didn't have a lot of homesteading so what Lincoln decided to do is with the homesteading act give these people their own land have them have it for free and then they could develop it and so even though those were in states they were stateless in nature for a temporary period So you can argue that they were only states, um, legally speaking, in terms of what was going on, it was stateless. But it could have been anarchists, so it could have been anarcho-capitalists. Had it been that they would have turned around after fur homesteading and said that they're going to keep this place for themselves... They don't want to, you know, make finish the deal. They think that there would be some good wealth accumulated from just keeping it without the state. Because as the United States was in its early period, they had a habit of doing this. They would let people homestead and fix up the work of the land that they have too much of. I mean, seriously, the United States is way too humongous someone has to like deal with all that shit they have to let people work on their own in the earlier period and what if they said wait this is we could we don't need to go complete with this deal of the homesteading act and they can actually just turn around and say well, we're going to keep this. It's not going to consolidate into a state. We're going to be independent. And if you have a problem with us, we can go to war. And that could actually work at the time because this was near the later periods of the Civil War. So they were probably way too preoccupied with a lot of other shit. Lincoln would have to deal with all sorts of shit at once. So they could have theoretically kicked the United States ass and had the Western United States in a period of anarcho-capitalism for an X amount of time or even forever since that's a humongous chunk of land. And that would have been cool in all honesty if that was the fate of the Western portion of the United States. And furthermore... <coughs> It would have also been very ancillary in the sense that the eastern part would have to be very minarchist-esque, very open in markets because they needed the resources, they needed the homesteading. Um, they couldn't just make with their urbanized eastern front. They needed the western one and all the resources from over there. So that would have been very interesting if... Once 
side was minarchist, the other side was anarchist. I mean, it was stateless. I mean, there were states in the perimeter, but they were kind of dormant. Kind of like how... Um, Some of your genes from your cells are dormant. I mean, you have one select gene for each cell, and then the rest is uh, dormant. That's how you can describe the government of the western portion of the United States. I mean, there was those hierarchies, but the states that existed were basically dormant, and they could have removed the states because it was pretty much status list and um, it would have been full flown anarchism, anarcho capitalism. Um and that's what could have happened. And if you think about it, back then it wouldn't be that hard. It's gonna be a bit harder now considering that all the United States needs to do is make um anarchist communities extremely miserable. And the United States is very, very developed. Not in all parts. Not in all parts. I mean, with the ter territories and military um, places that the United States has to, like, s for strategical purposes, you can theoretically take over that shit and make it into a anarcho-capitalist community. And then keep going from there on. But, it could happen. We have stateless capitalism with some anarchist elements. All you needed to do was make it so that it was no longer in the hierarchy that put at least this foreign state above it. The dormant state above it. Alright, so I'm done here. I said everything I needed to say. If you like this, can suck my dick.